We want to talk about interference, and interference has to do with how waves interact in a material, in a medium. So let's start off with uh, some kind of a wave. So let's say it's got a uh, positive 2 amplitude, negative 2 amplitude. Maybe it didn't draw it perfectly, but there it is. And so there's my wave. It goes through the medium like this. It could be a sound wave, it could be a light wave, it could be a water wave. Now, if we had another wave in the same material, and let's make a, an identical wave. Negative 2 amplitude, positive 2 amplitude. Those two waves can interact in the same material. And the beauty of waves is, wave can go one way, the other wave can go the other way, and they don't necessarily interfere with each other uh, in their progress. However, whenever they're together, they do produce an interesting result. And that is, uh, can be known as vector addition of amplitudes, which basically means I add my amplitudes. So I've got a positive 2, positive 2. I'm going to end up with a positive 4 amplitude. I've got a negative 2 and a negative 2. I'm going to end up with a negative 2 amplitude. So if I've got these waves and they're in phase like this, their amplitudes add. I've got a, uh, if this is a light wave, it's a much brighter region where I've got a line of brightness. And if I've got two light waves overlapping, I can find places where uh, one interacts with the other in a positive or constructive interference pattern produce a much brighter light. This is the diffraction, uh, two diffraction gratings interfering, laser beam going through, producing uh, some pretty cool effects. And so that's kind of cool. Now, the other thing that's, that's really unique with waves is that you can get them to add vectorally like this. So I could have a positive 2 interacting with a negative 2. Well, the result of that would be 0. And a negative 2 interacting with a positive 2, the result of that would be 0. If these two waves were interacting at the same time, the resultant would, in fact, be nothing. So that was light interacting. It would produce a region of darkness, a space where there would be dark lines. The areas of brightness represent constructive interference. The areas of darkness represent areas of destructive interference. Kind of cool. They spin it. Areas of darkness, destructive interference, or of lightness, constructive interference. If this was sound, it would be uh, uh, quiet. There would be no sound associated with it. And in fact, uh, you know of a device that does that. Uh, your uh, noise-canceling headphones. The noise-canceling headphones will uh, take a particular signal. They will uh, duplicate the signal exactly. And then they will invert it. Uh, flip it up and down and put them together. So no matter what the wave looks like, when you invert it, they're exactly mirror images. And when you add positive 2 to negative 2, it's 0. Uh, negative 2 to positive 2, it's 0. And it gets rid of it. It cancels out the background sound simply by inverting it and, uh, and combining the two of them. When the two waves combine, if this is sound, it's, uh, it's quiet. It's pretty cool. Now, there's a lot of ways of demonstrating waves interacting, but ultimately it involves having two different sources, and it produces two different patterns. Was that fun? I like it. All right. Here's kind of a representation of this. These are called moray patterns, and here's a representation of a bunch of circles, and I overlap it with the transparency of the same thing, and I get this effect. They're called moray patterns, and they represent areas where it's light above and light below and dark above and dark below, and that represents the white lines. And these dark lines where it's clear above and dark below. And dark below and, uh, and clear above, you uh, basically just see the dark, and then through the clear you see the dark, and you see these dark lines. So they represent areas of constructive and destructive interference. Technically, that's not what's happening, but uh, it's used to represent that phenomena with pieces of paper. This is cool. I like this.